In this video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question string to integer. In a nutshell, what leak code wants you to do is they want you to take a string that has a number inside of it and they want you to turn it into an integer. But there is one huge caveat and it states it in the very beginning, in the very first sentence, leak code tells you it must be a 32-bit signed integer. And this is LeetCode's way of preventing you from using parse int, ATOI, anything that will automatically do this for you, you pretty much can't use it. You're going to have to hand roll your own algorithm, so to speak. But LeetCode gives you all the specifications here in the description, so it's pretty easy. I'll just run through them quick, quickly. First things first, you can't have leading white space. Any leading white space, go ahead, chop it off. Second thing, you cannot have a plus sign at the beginning of positive numbers. They're going to give you a plus sign. You want to get rid of the plus sign. But if there is a negative number, you want to leave the negative. Next thing, this has to do with the 32-bit signed integer. If it is over a 32-bit signed integer, just return the integer max value. If it is below the integer min value, return the integer min value. Make sure that is within the 32-bit range. And lastly, if there are any actual characters in there, go ahead, make sure to remove the characters. That kind of goes without saying though. So how exactly are we going to solve this? We're going to build what's called a pipeline, basically a chain of while statements actually three while statements and one if statement. And we're going to run this th string through it. So if there is any leading white space, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it. We'll run it through that while loop. And as we're iterating, we're going to increment our index up at the top. Then we'll go to here. We don't want the positive sign. Make sure to index. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check if it's within the integer, within the integer max value, which it obviously is. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that character. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside IntelliJ and let's code it up. So we are inside of IntelliJ. First thing that I'm going to do is create a Java class. We'll call it solution. Within the solution, we will house our method that LeetCode wants. We're going to call it my ATOI. It's going to take in a string, and I'm gonna call this string S and not STR to match LeetCode's format. We'll go ahead and start storing a little bit of state. We have a bunch of while loops, so we're going to have to keep track of the index of all of our while loops up at the top. I guess you could put it anywhere, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up at the top because we have multiple. Uh, we'll go ahead, check if the length of the string is equal to zero. If it is zero, we obviously don't want that. So we're going to go ahead, return. Let's go ahead, start creating our first while loop. We'll do a little boundary check. And here's where we're going to check if it is a leading white space. If it is a leading white space, we want to keep indexing. And this indexing is going to chop off that leading white space. Now, here's a curveball. We need to make sure that the index is not equal to the length. If the index is equal to the length, we're going to go ahead and return. And this is a crazy edge case of where somebody just passes in white space. And if we didn't have this here, it would cause an out of bounds loop. So that's the reason why we have to add this extra if index is equal to s dot length. Now we are going to have an if statement that's going to check if there is a positive or a negative at the beginning. So we're going to check, we're going to do pretty much the same exact thing we're going to do right here. So I'm just going to take this, copy and paste it, and we're going to check whether it's a positive or a negative. If it's a positive or negative, we're going to flip our sign, the sign state that we stored up at the top. So if it is a positive, we're going to set it to one. If it's a negative, it's going to be a negative one. All right, and after that, of course, we need to index as well too. And lastly, we are going to create our final while loop. We're going to first check if the index is less than the string length, of course, because this is just a typical boundary check. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to pull the digit out of the actual chart. So we're going to reach into our string. We're going to find the index. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract minus this ASCII sign. This is a zero ASCII sign. And if we subtract the actual char, what it's going to do is it's going to give us the digit. And we need to check if the digit is less than zero or if the digit is greater than nine. And if it meets any of those two criterias, we need to go ahead and break because that basically means it's not actually a char. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the integer is within 32 bits. So we're going to say if integer dot max value is divisible by 10 and is less than the total and the AI is going crazy right now. So you got to double check to make sure that the AI is not missing up or it's supposed to be or the integer max value is div divide divisible by 10 and is equal to total and the integer dot max value is mod 10 is divisible by 10 and less than the digit this is going to do two things. This is first going to make sure that it is within the bounds, and it's also going to make sure that it doesn't fall exactly on the bounds, which could also happen as well too. And that's the reason that we have to have the mod 10 as well too. We have to make sure this is not falling exactly on the bounds. And then we're going to say total times 10 plus digits. And the reason that we have to do times 10 is because if we just add the digits as they are, it's not going to equal to let's say if we had one, two, three, if we added one plus two plus three, we would get six. So we have to actually times it so that we can get one, two, three. And of course, we're going to increment our index at the end. Lastly, we need to take care if the sign is positive or negative. So if uh, at the very end, we're just going to times it by the one or negative one. And that's, whew, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead, let's grab all this. Let's toss it inside leak code and let's see what we get. I'm going to go ahead, minimize this, get out of full screen. I'm going to go ahead, bring this over, toss this inside of my ATOI just like this. We'll go ahead and run our test cases. Oh, oh my God, our test case is passed. And then let's go ahead and submit. Let's see what we get. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, I'm glad because that was a long one. Let's make sure our time, compl time complexity is good. Make sure our memory is good. Our memory is good. Congratulations. We have passed the interview. Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.